This is going to be controversial. When it comes to domestic violence, if a female punches you, slaps you, elbows you, kicks you, bites you, and you do absolutely nothing to defend yourself, and I mean absolutely nothing, if she goes to punch you and she misses and she falls to the ground and scrapes her hand, that is enough probable cause for the police department to arrest you for domestic violence. Hey, this is Raul, uh, please act right. If you're dating an aggressive woman. Why are you being all dry? I don't like that. Why are you looking away and shit? You about boring as f I said no. What the hell we doing? Especially if she's physically aggressive, you might want to stick around and watch this video because you're going to find out real quick how you can get yourself in deep trouble even if you don't put your hands on her. Now first, I'm going to play this video of a woman lying to the police saying that the man struck her. Well, explain to me what's going on prior so, to this. He had woke me up in my kitchen. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, one second. I will talk to you in a second. Do you understand? I'm talking to her first. Go inside. I'll talk to you in a second. The first mistake this man made was coming outside yelling and being aggressive when talking to the cop. If you ever find yourself in a situation like this, remain calm and keep your composure. Coming outside yelling like this, if she says you were the aggressor, the cop is going to believe her because you're showing it right in front of the police. Listen to me. Listen to me. Go inside. I'll talk to you in a second. Do you understand? Do you understand? Go inside. I'll talk to you in a second. You're going in handcuffs. All right, go inside. Okay, explain to me what happened, then I'll talk to him. Me and my kids were asleep, and he had woke me up because he left, and that's my vehicle. And it doesn't even matter, but I came up here, we started arguing, he had hit me. And I told him, I said, it's the last time you're going to hit me. And I'm just done with it. He needs to get the f*** out of here. Where did he hit you at? Right here. Like closed hand, open hand? Uh, it, he hit me, he just hit me, and I fell right there. Did you hit him first? No, I didn't put my hands on him. Okay. So if she has a mark on her body and she said you hit her and there are no other witnesses, they're going to take her word over yours. So you guys are arguing for what, what caused this whole argument? Honestly, I don't really even know. Because he had left in the vehicle. That's what calls it. Is there any weapons inside? No. Okay. So do you live here with him? Yes, I do. Okay. And you guys have you guys have any kids together? Yes, I do. And they're sleeping, and that's another part of it. He you guys have kids up. together? Yeah. Okay. He was trying to start a fight between somebody else, and I wasn't, I'm not getting in a fight. So he, then he, I, I, he, I took his phone, and then, well, he actually gave me his phone, and then I had to get, and then he. See how she can't get a story straight? First she said she took his phone. Then she said he gave her his phone. Now which one is it? He, he hit me. He hit me. And How did he hit you? Show me with your hand. Like what did he do? Like I went to grab his phone and he like hit me. Like he went like this and I fell right here. And nobody was out here to see it but he hit me. Will you throw a statement out? Will you throw a statement out for us? <laughs> Let me see your face again. It was right here. He didn't yeah. hit me like. But it was. He hit me. Yeah. Have you guys been drinking tonight? No, I haven't drank anything. Have you been drinking? He's been drinking. Okay. Well, hold on. Let me, I'll go talk to him. I want, he can come out here and talk to you. Well, let me. Well, I want to separate you guys. So if you go in there, you're just gonna call. You're just gonna stir the situation back up. This is my house though, with my kids in there. So I'm gonna go inside and he can come out here because he can explain his side of the story and do whatever the fuck he has to do. But that's exactly what happened. So. Well, I mean, I can't just talk to one person and take their side. He, I want to talk to him can too. Can he come out here and talk? Sure, to he can come out here and we'll split you guys up. You want to come out and talk to me now? Hey, my son's right here. Come out and talk to me now. Come out and talk to me. Listen, you got to calm down. Go back inside because I told. Listen, I said I'll talk to him separate. You said you want to go inside, so go inside. Go inside. Go inside. This is my home, sir. I'm so sorry for Come down here so I can talk to you. Dad, dude, this is crazy. So tell me your half of the story. My half of the story, the true story, is. I've been trying to get that out of my house for months. You will not leave. This is my dad that that tries to, you know, mediate things. And this, I pay all the bills. She's not on the lease. I've been begging her to leave. My son right there was watching out the window while I was trying to get in my home. Okay, after talking to my neighbor. She came out here and fucking attacked me, dude. I don't hit females. I'm sorry how angry I am. Where'd she attack you? Uh, where'd she hit you at or anything? In the back of my head. Right oh, here. Oh, God. Wait, thanks. Huh? No, he's... Uh, right here. Like, this isn't the first time either. Notice he said this is not the first time she hit him. If a woman will strike you one time and get away with it, she'll strike you again. 
because she feels like there's no consequence. So you're saying you were out here. Why were you out yeah, here? Yeah, I was out here. Look, my truck's on. Yeah, with the car. Yeah, my truck was on. And then okay. what happened after? As she soon as I got out, she come rushing up at me. Because she, she, we, you know, we have two girls. Mm -hmm. This ain't the first time cops has been here. Or me and her. I mean, not like just arguing and shit. But like, she fighting his neighbor, his old lady. And then she comes at me and hits me. My son's sitting in there. No, that's why I'm mad because the man and I'm trying to get her out of my house and Overlook ain't wanting to do nothing. Well, you got to properly evict her. I, I understand that, but like when she's like telling me, like locking me out of my own home when this is my home. Nope. Overlook, you can only have one person on the lease unless you're married. Mm -hmm. Correct? Correct. My uncle is right there, Mikey Sal, my other uncle, Teddy, and my dad, Joey. That's on the phone right now that heard it all too while my son was sitting there watching it. Now watch how she starts playing like she's so emotional over this whole exchange. The reality is she used to argue with people, probably especially him, because he said just a minute ago that she argues with the neighbors. Be sure to stick around because the ex-police officer you saw in the beginning of this video is going to explain to you guys the humongous amount of trouble you can get into if you stay with a woman who is physically violent, but she claims you are the one who's physically violent. I'm gonna go get my camera and here grab a couple pictures out here that's, if that's cool. Is that, is that okay? Yeah, I'm just very overwhelmed right now as you can imagine. You know what I mean? So, I just don't... I just don't know what to do with the situation. Can we please like shut the door? <laughs> I do want to press charges against him actually. I think that I think that is what When it comes to the DV, it doesn't even matter if you want to or not want to. Really? Now she knows she didn't hit him, but she still wants to press charges. But when a cop tells her it doesn't matter whether she wants to press charges or not, once they're called there and they identify who the aggressor is, that person is the one that's going to jail. Now watch how she hesitates when she's afraid she's gonna be found out that she was the aggressor, not him. Doesn't matter, once the primary aggressor is determined, that's who goes, okay, especially when there's claims of physical injury or physical altercation. After that, it's all, it's all court. You know, once that's done, you know, if your guys' statements, if you, if you guys told some non-truth on there, that's gonna, you know, court's gonna see that, you know, that's not the truth, that's not the truth. So, Whoever, if there is charges, then that doesn't mean that doesn't mean that you're guilty or innocent. It just means that that's what the primary aggressor is. Oh, now she wants to start asking questions because she's worried about what the cop said. The aggressor is the one that's going to go to jail. Somebody, how can somebody like? I'm a little shaken up, so I can't like. I'm not like. I just had a lot happen to me. Like whether I, I just I'm. I have a lot going on right now. I have my kids in there. Like, I mean, he shouldn't have hit me. You know what I mean? And he. But I'm sure his story is the same, saying that you shouldn't have hit him. Right. There, there's two sides. Right, but and, you know, I didn't and, hit him. But well, I mean, and, and he didn't hit you apparently. It goes both ways. Right. And that's all I'm saying. That's what court's for. Right. So you know, our job is to determine the primary aggressor. He said their job is to find out who the primary aggressor is. Once they arrest a the primary aggressor, it all becomes a court issue. You'll see why this is so important in a few minutes when the cop of this main video explains it. Okay? Right. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to, to make it as simple as possible explaining it to you. Okay, but right? I just want to make sure that I'm not going to jail tonight. I'll explain that to you once you get done with your statement. Um, yes. Yeah, so Can you sign I'm it? So, I'm okay. sorry. I know that you, you got other stuff. Yeah, you guys do have other shit you have to do. So they put the man in handcuffs and they put him in the back of the car while they continue their investigation based on her statement. But then they questioned the man's son about what happened. And the son saw the whole thing from the window. So I was um, sitting on my phone and, uh, on the couch and then I heard Brittany on the phone um, yelling at my dad to get home. And then... No, go back inside real quick. We're talking to everybody separately. You're talking to a child? Yeah, I am. Go back inside. Do you want to obstruct my investigation? Please go back inside. What the That's a child? Uh, exactly. That's why I'm talking to him. Please go back inside. You do know why she came outside, right? Because kids have a tendency of telling the truth. She knows this kid saw everything from the window. Remember earlier when she said, I just want to make sure I'm not going to jail? 
Okay, but right. I just want to make sure that I'm not going to jail tonight. I'll explain that to you once you get done with your statement. Get done with your statement. Um, yes. Yeah, so Can you sign I'm it? So, I'm okay. sorry, I know that because they want to make sure they get her lie in writing and she signs it. You're going to jail. So let's go. I'm going to jail? Yes. You're under arrest. How, no, no, no. How am I under arrest? How am I under arrest for getting hit? Because you're determined to be the primary aggressor. I'm under... No, no, no. No, 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 no. Yes. Don't. Come here. Don't make it worse. No. Oh, I resist the charge. We have to... Uh, how am I under, under arrest? arrest? No, no, no. Quick question. Why is it that every time somebody's about to get put in handcuffs, they jump on their phone to call somebody? Who the hell are you calling that's gonna stop the arrest? No, no, no. How am I under arrest? How am I under arrest? No, no, no. Look, I have rights. I just got hit. Stop. I just, hey, hey, you guys. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You're gonna get a resisting charge. No, no, no. You're gonna get a resisting charge. No, no, sir. Sir, please. Please. You gotta get a resisting charge. My kids are in there. No, 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 no. no. You're gonna make this a lot harder than it has to be. No, no, no. Listen, my kids are in here. No, 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 no. So they released the man and now she's going to jail for being the aggressor. Thankfully, the son saw everything and told the story of what happened exactly the way the father told it, which was the opposite of what she said. And now she's about to face what men who have been falsely accused of and striking a woman has faced on a daily basis. Pay close attention, fellas. This is how serious it can be if you get charged with domestic violence against a woman, even if you didn't strike her. This is going to be controversial. When it comes to domestic violence, if a female punches you, slaps you, elbows you, kicks you, bites you, and you do absolutely nothing to defend yourself, and I mean absolutely nothing, if she goes to punch you and she misses and she falls to the ground and scrapes her hand, that is enough probable cause for the police department to arrest you for domestic violence. She is going to be so upset that she will say anything to police officers to get you arrested. I'm telling you firsthand because I was a police officer. Police officers don't care about getting it right. All they care about is making the arrest and then letting prosecutors deal with it. And prosecutors are the biggest f***ing scumbags you can possibly imagine. Even if you're innocent and the prosecution knows you're innocent, they're going to try so hard to squeeze a plea deal out of you. And when you, as a defendant, say no, you're not going to take that plea deal and it goes to trial, they are going to judge shop? Judge shopping means that they're going to pick a judge that they know will rule in the prosecutor's favor and against you as the so-called aggressor. They are going to judge shop, they are going to block evidence, they are going to coerce witnesses, and they're not even going to hand over all discovery to the defendant because they absolutely must win. They will prepare testimony with all the witnesses, including that female that punched you. And all that female has to do when she goes on the stand is say, I don't remember, and that will be enough. In 2019, the Nevada Supreme Court ruled in Anderson versus Las Vegas that any person accused of domestic violence must have a jury trial attached. And prosecutors in the city of Henderson, Nevada hated that. They hated it so much, city attorneys enacted immediately their own municipal ordinance, HMC 8.02.055, denying a person a constitutional right to a jury trial because they want to secure convictions. Prosecutors don't give a if you're innocent. So if you're a defendant accused of domestic violence, get ready to fight. And when I mean fight, I mean fight for your life. You are going to lose at trial. You are going to lose on appeal. You are going to lose in family court. You are going to lose, but you cannot let them bully you. You better come to fight and fight in hard. The suspect was charged with domestic violence and resisting arrest. Back in the early 1990s, I dated this young lady who was beautiful. I couldn't figure out why this beautiful woman was single. Well, I soon found out. Whenever she didn't get her way, she would become violent. She would throw things at me, screaming and yelling to the top of her lungs, and even hit me with her fist. 
Needless to say, I knew better than to stick around, so I dumped her. Another guy who dated her right after me, he stuck around through her violent rages and he paid the price for it. One day the police were called and I know she lied by saying that he hit her first. The cops took him to jail and he ended up getting a domestic violence charge that stuck with him for God knows how long. I'm making this video because I need you guys to understand that if a woman will hit you once, she'll hit you again. And if she really gets pissed off at you about anything, she can call the police and lie and say that you did damage to her. Bottom line is this, if a woman is showing signs that she cannot control her emotions, that's the biggest red flag right there. But if she even shows that she can't control her anger to the point where she even threatens to call the police because you two are having a disagreement, you better find a way to get some distance between you and her. And I mean, do it calmly and as calmly as possible. If she threatens to call the police, simply give in to her for whatever it is that she's asking for, within reason, of course. Anything to get her not to dial 911. After that, go on about your merry way and just make excuses like you have to work overtime. I was working late. Or you have a sick relative that you have to take care of. I was working late. Anything that you can come up with so you don't have to see this woman again. I was working late. But not to piss her off so that she calls the police anyway and claims that you recently did something to her even if you haven't seen her recent. The bottom line is this, the minute you see a woman cannot control her emotions to the point where she becomes physical, it's time to go. Stick around and you may pay the cost with a domestic charge against you that can ruin your life and your future. Hey, somebody had to tell you and I love you, so it might as well be me. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. I post a new video every week. And in the meantime, Will you please act right? My name is Raul. See you in another video. So if you enjoyed this video, check out one of these two videos right here. I'm sure you enjoy them too. And if you like, you can visit my channel. I have plenty of videos there. Go ahead. Don't be scared.